Okay, uh, Catman, Chuck Baxter. Uh, this is a story um, about something that I saw one time. This is a interdimensional uh, topic. Um, I walk out my front door of my house, and I have a yard that's fenced in with wooden security fence. And I walk out the door, and I usually have spider webs um, right outside the door. So I have a little stick, and I wave it around, and I knock the spider webs down. And I walk up to the fence and um, take care of some morning business. And I turn back around, and when I look, I see at the first thought appeared to be a spider web and it was square so in a matter of about this only lasted for about 60 seconds this happened but the first thought that came into my mind was is how did that spider web get there because i just knocked all the spider web down with the stick and then a second later um my thought was that's pretty weird a square spider web i've never seen a square spider web and then about another second later I said to myself, huh, I wonder where the strings are that are holding it up because it's just the, the square. And then another second or two later, I started getting these chills all through my body when I realized that it wasn't a spider web that I was seeing because I couldn't see the sky or the trees or anything through it. And that's when I realized what I was looking at was an inter interdimensional door. And it was basically from here to the tree um, away from us, which is about mm, eight feet, I'm gonna say. And the door, it was about not quite three feet square. And it was on about a 45 degree angle, about like that. And it looked like it had uh, a gra graphic lines in it that appeared to be like one inch squares and they were, um, it went for infinity and they were on a 45 degree angle. So it appeared to be that I was looking at the, you know, like where the mirror would be like this and it was turned on an angle like that. And when I looked at it and I noticed that the lines were just going back on a 45 degree angle, like in a squared, a squared pixel. And then I started, you know, this went on like now it's like 30 seconds has gone by and once I realized that I was looking into a different dimension, uh, the first thing that came into my mind is something was going to come out of it. So I was real worried that some type of interdimensional being was going to come through. So I was real worried that I was going to be captured per se. And then, um, and then I told myself, well, I'm going to get brave here. And if I lean to the left just a little bit, I thought I'd be able to look through and see what was in it in depth. And right when I leaned over and I went to look into it, it was like a door closed. And then the sky reappeared. The trees were there. Um, this thing just disappeared. So once this happened, I told myself, well, I know that there is a such thing as multidimensional um, things going on right around us. It's just not in the realm that we're in. And I kind of relate it to um, like radio frequency or a television set. You've got multiple frequencies being transmitted on one TV. You're just changing the channel from one frequency to another. You're changing the channels. And that's what I'm starting to put together that there's a whole bunch of interdimensional things going on. It's just not in our, our frequency. And um, I've never seen another one since. I'm kind of hoping I don't. <laughs> and um, so that's just kind of an experience that I had with that. So I, I truly believe that, um, you know, that situation is happening. And I'm kind of thinking now that some of the issues like um, people that are disappearing just out of the blue, I'm very almost convinced that it's very possible that that same type of door could open up in an interdimensional being could come through possibly grabbing you and pulling you into it um now what's strange is is one time i was listening to a, a guy that was in vietnam he was a sniper and he was talking about um an experience that he had and he described the exact same thing that i saw and he said that um when the door opened up an interdimensional being did come out of it and he said it was your typical gray alien type description 
and he said he shot it. And um, he said a, a, a substance came out of it, like a blood per se. And he said that as soon as he did, another interdimensional being came out and grabbed it and pulled it back in through the door. And then that door closed. And he described it as the same description that I just described. So that's the, you know, only other person that I've ever talked to or listened to that described that very same situation that I've seen. So, um, um, you know, I think there's more going around us than, you know, than what we know. So that's kind of experience that I had. <laughs> End of story. All right. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, Thanks yeah. for sharing, Chuck. Mm -hmm.